Hey kids, this is the lecture for section 16.1 and 16.2. All right. In this chapter we're talking about acids and bases. Okay. Now, what is an acid and what is a base? Okay. Now, we're going to use the, uh, we're going to talk about the Bronsted the Bronsted Lowry definition here. Okay, kind of a weird looking B there. Okay. Okay, the Bronsted Lowry definition defines an acid as a substance that donates a proton. A Bronsted-Lowry base, on the other hand, is a substance that accepts a proton. All right, so let's look at an example of this. Okay, an example might be HCl gas reacting with water to make H3O plus and Cl minus. Okay, let's label the Bronsted and the Bronsted Lowry acid, okay? And that's gonna be right here. HCl. Okay. The Bronsted Lowry base is the substance that accepts the proton. And in this case, it's going to be the water here. Okay. Now, a couple more terms for you. Okay, this H3O plus here, we call this a hydronium ion. And this Cl minus. This is called a conjugate base. All right. This hydronium ion could also be called the conjugate acid. All right. So on the left. We've got the Bronsted-Lowry acid. We've got the Bronsted-Lowry base. They react to form hydronium ion and chloride. Now, what is actually happening here is the water is taking the proton off of the HCl. Now, water is going to be the base that we're talking about most of the time here. But there can be other bases as well. Let's look at the reaction of HCl plus ammonia, NH3. Okay. Ammonia is going to take that proton off of the HCl, and it's going to make 
N H four plus and it's going to leave behind that chloride. Uh, so let's try to predict which ones are the acids, which ones are the bases, which ones are the conjugate acids, and which one's going to be the conjugate base. Well, the acid is right here. The base is right here. The conjugate acid is right here, and the conjugate base is the chloride here. Okay, so know the difference between a, an acid, a conjugate acid, a base, and a conjugate base. All right, so different acids have varying abilities to donate protons. So acids. have varying abilities protons. Okay. You have what are called strong acids. Okay. Examples of these are HCl, H2SO4, and nitric acid, HNO3. Okay, those these are the these are uh, examples of strong acids, and really they're the only three strong acids. The thing that sets strong acids apart is that they dissociate 100 percent dissociation okay what does that mean it means that if you put HCl in water, the reaction will go 100% to make H3O plus and chloride ion. Okay? It's going to go all the way. So at the end, you're going to have 0% of this and 100% of that. So those are strong acids. Let's look at weak acids. Okay, weak acids only partially lose protons. Okay, so that means that if we take a, a typical weak acid like HF, okay, and we put this in water, that HF is going to form hydronium ion and fluoride anion. Okay, but only partially. Okay, now what that what that really means is that there's an equilibrium set up here. Let's, uh, I'm going to make it make an equilibrium where you still have some of the reactants and some products. Okay, so weak acids only partially lose protons, and they end up making an equilibrium. 